Okay. All right, we removed the bearing. Now we're going to install it. And one thing we want to do is we're going to heat the case up. Now, guys, we've done this a couple different times uh, with dealing with aluminum, installing a steel bearing in an aluminum case. About what temperature do we figure works really well? 150, 250 degrees, somewhere in that range. Obviously, the hotter we get, the easier this bearing is going to drop right in. We could, with driving tools, probably drive this bearing in, but it's just going to make it work a lot harder. The couple things we have to do is we've got to make sure that we start the bearing square. If we get this bearing cocked and try and install it in the case, we'll get it in there. It's going to drag across there, but will it ever be straight with the shaft? So we're going to have a problem there, and will we damage the case? Yes. So once again, that's why heat works so good, because when we get it hot, the bearing will kind of start and self-center. And what you're going to notice when I go to do this is I'm going to have light taps, and sometimes what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of tapping around the outside of this until I see that it starts to seat good. That's why the bearing on the edge of it, do you see how it's rounded? That's that lead-in that we keep talking about, too. This particular bearing, we also have our steel race. We know that it went down. The other thing is, we know that we're going against this lip inside the engine here. If we go too far, if we tried to drive that too hard, we'd end up breaking that. If we heated this case up enough, we'll do this one where I'll just get it kind of to the minimum. I'm going to use the driver tools to install the bearing and get it good and seat it. When we go to do the demo on Kelly's, we're actually going to heat that case up enough to where the bearing just falls right in, just like we've done on crankshafts and some other things. That is mine. So, What's that? That one is mine. This one is yours. I'm sorry. Then on the KX, we'll do it that way. On yours, we're going to kind of just uh, heat it up. Um, a couple different uh, tools. Once again, this whole kit right here uh, comes with all the different sizes of bushings you can imagine. Now, sometimes I will flip this up and use either side so I get more available sizes. We just use the center bolt there. Don't have to use any tools to install it. Another nice one here. Is this for your smaller ones? You've got a bunch of different size pilots and bushing drivers. This one was real inexpensive too. This was 30 bucks from Harbor Freight. This was Harbor Freight. I want to say it was 20 or 30 bucks or something like that too. So a lot of options. Of course, there's better tools out there, but these seem to really do their job. Why don't you go ahead and pause that, and I'll heat up the case. All right, we've went ahead and heated this up pretty good. I'm going to lightly start to seat this. Now I'll switch to my tool. Now notice how the sound's going to change. Hear that? So I know that I'm fully seated and bottomed out. The one thing I could do is check to make sure on the other side here that I'm all the way against that boss, all the way around. Now, did, how hard did I use that hammer? Not, hard hard. Hard. Not at all. The other thing I noticed is that I'm good and flush on the inside. So if this were our new bearing, we'd be good to go. You can practice using the tool to take it apart yourself. Make sense? Pretty easy? Any questions about that? Uh -huh. That's good.